So Photoshop Express. Photoshop Express, I looked at it way back in June 4th, 2013. And in fact, at the time, it was Windows 8ified. Basically, it had the Metro interface all over it. This this app, looking back now to the old video, it it looks very, very old, but but it's been in the windows. It was one of the original like windows store when it was called the windows store. It's one of the original store apps in the store from a major publisher, which is insane to think that this app of all things is the, is the app, you know? And during those days when I actually took a look at that video and took a look at that app, um, I was a I didn't even know if I was going to do photography. I didn't even know what I was going to school for. It was June 2013. I think I was just getting to my college. Um, and I went, actually, ironically, I went to the same college as Mr. Mobile. Um, only he came before me. Um, and I was in college, and I didn't know what I was choosing for a degree. And it turns out somehow, fast forwarding to now, I use Photoshop all the time. Well, I use Affinity Photo all the time. But this is Photoshop Express. Now, Photoshop Express um, is is a very interesting application, and basically it's the budget-minded photo editor. Basically, you don't really have to pay for it. I think right now when I try to sign in, it kind of told me to log in and with my Adobe ID because at the time, you didn't really have – Creative Cloud wasn't even out yet, um, or I don't think so in 2013. I don't think Creative Cloud was out. I think it was just Creative Suite, and you just paid for the package, $600, and you got everything. So this didn't, nothing really required accounts at the time. So it's crazy looking back at that app on uh, what kind of changes it had for it. Now, this is the app and this is, this is the video for the app. I can't really bring it full screen, but here it is. And it's on my other channel, Quaku on Tech. Haven't really uploaded in a while, but it is what it is. I'll get to it. Um, June 4th, 2013, as I said, it was a long time ago and yeah, I was I was a I was a wee lad at the time. It's 2020 now, seven years ago. So I was 20 years old. Wow, I wasn't even adult to drink or anything. That's that's very interesting. So going back into it, looking at it here, um, we had actually, uh, yeah, it was metrified. We see the little you know the grids to crop and things like that. Going a little forward, everything was very very just. To me now, looking back, kind of look kind of bland, the Metro interface. Now I'm kind of glad we kind of switched over to this kind of fluent interface, you know, fluent UI. Looking into it, you know, premium looks preview. I don't think I ever had an Adobe account when it was optional. I don't think I paid for anything on this channel. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. But going deeper, right, going deeper. In fact, let me, let me pull up a picture that I have created myself. All right, so here it is. This is the new Photoshop elements, and I'm using my old Volvo picture or Lexus picture. And looking through it right now compared to how it was before, where you see kind of how it was before with editing a picture. You had all the icons down below. You can't really tell too much with this thing here, but it was really metrified. And then going back into it now, um, you kind of see, you know, crop is everything is kind of how windows 10 has everything everything is on one side just like on the start menu everything is on one side um you have now different options for facebook page cover so if you just want to crop it to the cover page of facebook you got that i'm surprised they don't do they have youtube yes they do so they have a channel art which is obviously 16 by 9 when you're doing youtube videos channel art 16 by 9 um youtube thumbnail uh you have that too so you have that size difference it looks roughly similar. They're both 16 by 9. You have an Etsy cover. So if you're doing Etsy, LinkedIn background. So it, they kind of, it feels like they kind of tailored the whole experience of Photoshop Elements now um, to how it is nowadays where everyone's doing social media, everything. If I want to do a Twitter post, 16 by 9 because that's the average monitor. I'm obviously using a giant super ultra wide monitor. So it's it's kind of different. Um, yeah, it's it's very interesting. It's it's very interesting. Going through more, though, you got your exposure settings on the next tab here. This is very generic because this slider option is for the corrections. And you have your exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, and so on. So if I want, if I see a highlight there, which is the reflection of the of the window, I can click it. And then I can drag and adjust those highlights in there. So you can see like that. It works pretty well, I got to admit. Um, the color, 
obviously I've already edited this picture, but if I want the color to, um, let's say I want this, the details and I want to uh, reduce noise, color noise, I can do that and I'll reduce color noise. Again, this picture is imported from Facebook and two, um, this picture's already been fully edited, so there's not really much you can do with it. If I want to blur things, you can do that too in here. So it's got it's got a lot of features definitely in it. Uh, it's it's very interesting. It's very interesting. So people, uh, pets, you can select your category to remove red eye. Obviously, there's no people in it. And then you have your other options, which is your border. So if you want a border, like you want a circle border, you can click it and it kind of circle border it. It doesn't look like there's a way to, let me see, is there a way to shrink the border? No, this is just to zoom in more. Uh, viewing original, if you want to see how it looks before and after. And if you want to auto awesome it, or basically auto enhance it, you have that option there. I don't know why you'd pick this option because this makes it very yellow and that's not what the color of the car is. Um, you can also pick a lot of different things. So you have your this, you have your frames, or you can kind of pick different frames and say, I want wood frame and there it is. Um, I don't know why it's doing what it's doing, where it keeps it like this. It keeps it only left and right. Maybe it's because it's not a square. Um, but in general, Photoshop Elements, it's it's aged pretty decently. Um, it's it's all right. It works. If you just are a writer and you just need quick quick thing or Photoshop Elements, Photoshop Express. If you're a writer and you really need a bunch of um, just stuff to just edit quickly and just publish your post so it doesn't look like potato quality picture photoshop express can actually do that for you going deeper in you have your image resize too so for instance if this wasn't a facebook post and i had my full size dslr pictures on there that are like 8k resolution um, i can change the resolution of it the image resize and this is i'm sure this is actually the longest side it says these options will scale the image down to selected long edge yep so the longest side will change to one of these options here so it resizes it I don't know. You wouldn't want to up the size when in an image. You want to actually lower it because if the image comes out starting like 1080p, you don't want to try to up the longest side from 1920 to 4,000 pixels because it just, I don't know where they're going to get that information from. Uh, you got maximum, so you can render maximum quality. So JPEG quality would be maximum when you export an image by default. Tracking enabled sends the information. I'm not going to do that because tracking. So there's, there's a lot of options here. Going above the top here, you got your re undo, you got your redo, you got your auto, you got your flip back and forth between original view, your zoom, save and share, and then you got you know the whole experience of everything there. Preferences takes you back there. So overall, I gotta say, this, this application, it looks pretty good. Um, would I use it? Not really. I wouldn't really use Photoshop Express just because personally for me i use infinity photo and it has everything photoshop express has plus more and it's easier to use to me uh, even though this is bare minimum this is like everything you could possibly need like you have your effects you need to just add quick effects grain dehaze the infamous dehaze tool you can do that and there you go you see the change right there if you want to get rid of the border you just go here you can just pick which border you want or you can go basic and just hit normal and it gets rid of it and then you just have it right there so overall Everything looks pretty good in this application. I got to I got to actually say everything looks really good in here. So let me know what you guys think. You know, revisiting Photoshop Express. It's not a review, but I'm revisiting it. The differences between this Photoshop Express, you know, where it it, you know, you had the windows pop-ups. This is this was a start editing area back in those days. Adobe Revel, Photos Library and things like that. That was the start editing. That was the launch page for Photoshop Express. Um, and you had to go into these sides for sharing options. Now, if you go into sharing options, save and share, you can just have a simple drop down. It doesn't take up the entire corner of your screen. So that's pretty cool. I, I got to say that that is pretty cool. Checking sign in status um, right there. I also, I guess I had Photoshop at the time. Um, but yeah, you had to go to the charms bar back in those days to actually get access to Photoshop, which is pretty funny. But yeah, so it's it's a clean application. Um, it's free-ish, but I'll put all the payment and price details right in front of you right now um, in post. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is a little different video than I usually do. Um, 
I wanted to come back to app reviews, but I wanted to revisit some of the old apps that I looked at years and years ago and even very recently. I want to see how they changed from back then to now. And if you should still get it, personally for me, Photoshop Express, I think you should still use it. It's perfectly fine for the average person. If you're just an average person, take a picture with your phone. Photoshop Express is on your smartphone as well. So, yeah. And I'll let you guys know as well in the little comment section whether or not this actually supports cross compatibility with Photoshop Express on the phone. I doubt it, but I'll let you guys know. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you have any comments about it, let me know as well in the comment section below. Drop me an email, nextgenwindows at gmail.com. Still using the old email. Um, Twitter, same thing, Next Windows, NXT Windows, same as the channel on Twitter. Yeah, let me know. My name is Kwaku Asafu Ajay, and uh, take care, everybody, and happy 440. Take care.